friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. I have a huge haul for you. We ended up going to Costco to activate our new cell phones and so we thought when in Rome we're going to do our Costco shopping. So I have a big Costco haul and a grocery store haul as well. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost 140 pounds and maintained that weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask your questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group, it's free. It's a beautiful supportive community. Come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. So let's head on into my kitchen for a huge grocery haul. So here is the massive haul from Costco. We haven't been to Costco in two months at least. And we went to get our phones activated and thought we would double dip and do our stock up shopping. This will def this will definitely last us a few months. So let me show you what we picked up. First thing is some more protein shakes. I always restock protein shakes when I go to Costco and Sam's Club. I decided to pick up the Fair Life chocolate. These are my makeup removing wipes that I absolutely love. I think these are way better than any other brand. And they're currently on coupon for $10.99, which is a killer deal for 180 of them. And then we also grabbed some bread. This is the bread that Troy really, really likes and it's such a good deal at Costco. It's about the price for two loaves is the price of one at the regular grocery store. So this is the Dave's Killer Bread White Done Right. And then Troy wanted a few new shirts and they had some pretty good deals. This is a long sleeved men's champion pullover. It's kind of a mix between a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. So it'll be perfect as we move into fall. And then I also got him two of the Adidas tees. These are only $12.99. I kind of like this pinky salmon orange color and then a black. Of course, paper towels and toilet paper, that's a requirement when we do our Costco haul. And then this was exciting. These smell amazing. This is from the brand Bellevue Luxury Candles. Four candles, $20. That makes them four, $5 a piece. Berry Clementine, Veveteer, Birchwood, Balsam Cardamom, and Toasted Vanilla. They smell really good. They're nice big candles. They're 12 ounce soy blend candles. Really, really fantastic deal. And then we couldn't pass this up for Palmer. You guys know he loves toys. He loves these kind of nubby toys, especially balls, B-A-L-L-S's as we like to call them. Pretty sure that one glows in the dark. So that's gonna be fun for him. I got these cookies. This is from the brand Milk Bar. And these are their crunchy cinnamon toast cookies. It sounds really, really good. And you can actually have six cookies for 150 calories. So I thought that would be a good sweet treat. It would be really good on yogurt, Ninja Creamy ice cream, protein pudding. You could really use it for a bunch of different things. And I love a good cinnamon toast, anything. Of course, my Just Bear Lightly Breaded Chicken Nuggets. Love these, love the strips, love the nuggets. This is a go-to for us. Even Troy, who complains about chicken, really, really likes the Just Bear, so we picked up another bag. And then Troy's favorite salad in the world that's only here at Costco in the summers was there, so we grabbed it. It is a tortellini sausage mozzarella. I don't like it. I don't ever eat it, but he loves it, so we picked him up one. And then we also got the little cracker cut cheese. This is just convenient for us. We eat a lot of cheese and crackers. We put this on breakfast sandwiches. It's just easy, and you actually get aged cheddar, Jarlsberg Swiss, creamy Havarti, and Gouda. Paper plates because they were much more affordable at Costco than at the regular grocery store. And then Zip Fizz, this is something Troy utilizes a lot for the vitamins. It's just a really good dietary supplement. It's a little bit pricey. It's $30 for 30 tubes, so it's a buck a tube, but it's full of really good vitamins and minerals. It's grapefruit punch and peach mango. I also grabbed a huge bag of organic oatmeal. I've been really trying to get my oats organic because they're heavily sprayed with the pesticide in Roundup, and I don't wanna eat that. So this was a really, really good deal, so I picked that up. 
Of course, Troy's four bean salad. I said last time that we got this, it reminds me of my dad. My dad used to eat this a lot growing up. And if you didn't know, my dad passed away suddenly in 2013. So this is a little bit nostalgic for me. I also got some more chosen foods, avocado oil mayo. That's my favorite. And then Troy does take a turmeric supplement every day for inflammation. Actually works really well. So we got him a restock. Picked up a big bag of chia seeds because I'm almost out of chia seeds and I've actually been utilizing them a lot. They're a really good source of fiber, fat, and protein. And then the Rayos marinara sauce was on coupon. I think $9 for two, which is a great deal, so I picked up a two-pack. Dog treats, of course. We always buy dog treats at Costco. These ones are really good. They're chewy lamb sticks. My dogs actually really like those. And then speaking of dogs, they had their eight-in-one multi-benefit joint chews on coupon for $23.99, which is a really good deal, so I picked those up for them as well. A two pack of peanut butter for Troy, best deal ever at Costco, $10 for two of them. Two pack of apple pecan salad kit. We were gonna get the Caesar and then we decided this one sounded really good. I think we're gonna have it for dinner tonight. It's got spinach, spinach spring mix, feta cheese, spiced apple chips, candied pecans with the white balsamic shallot vinaigrette. It sounds really good and you get two different salad kit. We did go ahead and decide to pick up a big box of peaches. We've been loving peaches. My peach blueberry crisp, we loved that. So I plan on making that again. Whole box of peaches, $10. I also grabbed two big packs of blueberries. I need these for my meal prep. And then I just love blueberries. I eat berries every single day. I also grabbed a big pack of raspberries and a huge pack of strawberries. We also grabbed a big case of Gatorade Zero, which is being put away in the garage. So that is everything that we picked up from Costco. So here is my haul from my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. You guys know I love going early in the morning to see what meat deals they had, and they had some really good ones i mean more than normal so i picked up quite a few things so first i grabbed these prime burgers these are for troy that way i can fry these up or we can throw these on our blackstone grill and we'll have some burgers ready to go this is a great deal for four dollars and fifty cents it's about half price also the laura's ground beef i really like this one because it has no antibiotics which i try to avoid antibiotics in meat as much as possible this is also a pretty expensive brand, and these were on sale for $5.18 a pound, so I picked up two pounds, and then I also grabbed two pounds of 99% ground turkey for $2.96. You cannot beat that. I was going to make a chicken burger this week, but I'm just going to sub it for a turkey burger because that is an incredible, incredible deal, and the thing with reduced meat is you just cook it right away or you throw it in the freezer. I picked up a can of Manwich, again, just to have Sloppy Joes on hand. They're one of Troy's favorite things. Speaking of Troy, these are his favorite granola bars. These are the Cascadian Farm Vanilla Chip. These are actually really good and they have nice clean ingredients. I did decide to pick up some turkey pepperoni. I have a couple of those Mission Pitas that I bought at Sam's Club a while ago in my freezer that I want to use up and I love making a pita pizza. I've actually shown it quite a few times in what I eat in a day video so I'm going to do that this week so I needed some pepperoni. I decided to get wheat thins. I don't know why wheat thins just sounded really good. I've been making these little snack plates, doing cheese and crackers. Troy loves cheese and crackers. These were $4.49 for the family size box. The small box was $4. So I just went ahead and got the family size. We'll definitely eat those up. I also was out of my caramel rice cakes. I wanted the Quaker brand. They didn't have them. The Kroger brand is actually pretty good and quite a bit less expensive. I love putting peanut butter on these as a snack. It's one of my favorite pre-workout snacks. Good source of fat, protein, and simple carbohydrates. I also saw these on for clearance for $1.05 a piece. It's peeled apples, crackers, and cheese. I thought this would be just a perfect snack. I know Troy will definitely eat these up. I couldn't pass it up for a dollar a piece, so I went ahead and grabbed three of them. Also couldn't pass up these little mini cranberry orange scones. These were $1.25, so it was 50% off the $2.50 price. I love scones, I love cranberry orange. I also appreciate that they're minis because not a lot of points in calories and you still get to have that little bit of a decadent bakery item. Also picked up some more light shredded cheese. We always have light shredded cheese on hand and we were completely out. Also mini chocolate chips. This is something I use a lot. I like this in my Ninja Creamy ice cream as a 
mix in. I like to add it to different breads and muffins that I make. I really like the mini chips for some reason. I feel like you get more for the points and calories. I needed one third less fat cream cheese for my meal prep. And then I wanted the reduced fat good culture. They didn't have it, so I just went ahead and got the full fat. It doesn't matter to me. I don't really notice much difference with the reduced fat, so I usually pick that up just to save the fat, the points, and the calories. I did get some light mayonnaise, and my question is, when did mayonnaise become so expensive? This was on sale, on sale for $6.19. To me, that seems absolutely ridiculous, but we were out of light mayo, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and picked it up. I did a restock of my favorite Fairlife milk. They didn't have this last week, so I was glad that it was back in stock. And then I also grabbed two gallons of skim milk for Troy. Little mini avocados. These are my favorite because I can eat the whole avocado in one sitting. That way I don't have to worry about trying to store it and going bad. I really, really love the minis. And then everything else is produce. So lots and lots of zucchini. I am actually making zucchini bread for my boot camp group on Friday. We do a 5K around the lake in our community and we bring a healthy snack to share. So I'm going to make a healthy version of zucchini bread and then I'm going to make a loaf for us as well. I needed some asparagus for a recipe, celery for Troy's pasta salad that I'm going to make for him this week, coleslaw for my lunch meal prep, and then one lone big banana for a recipe. So that is everything that I picked up from Kroger, let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. Today's Saturday, of course, we're going out for dinner. We are doing a taco night tomorrow, Sunday. Monday, I'm doing pesto, chicken, tortellini, and vegetables. You guys will actually see this in Wednesdays. What I eat in a day, Tuesday, Wednesday, leftovers. Thursday, we're making teriyaki burgers. And then Friday, we always do leftovers as well to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And for Monday's meal prep, I'm super excited. We're doing an almond butter strawberry banana overnight oat. Really, really stoked for this. For lunch, I'm actually doing chicken teriyaki burgers with a coleslaw. And then for dessert, we're doing a no-bake berry lush. Actually, Troy's excited for that dessert recipe. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Costco and my local Kroger store, what's on my menu for dinners, and don't forget, stay tuned for Monday's meal prep to see all three recipes. Of course, subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss it. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and like I mentioned in the beginning, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.